All right, hello, and welcome to another Expert Inside interview. My name is John Golden from Sales Pop, online sales magazine and Pipeliner CRM, joining you as usual from, I was going to say a sunny San Diego, but actually it's quite rainy and windy, it does happen occasionally. Uh, and uh, today I am delighted to be joined by Sharissa Bloomberg, who is in Cape Town in South Africa, all the way across the world. How are you doing, Charissa? Good, thank you. And thank you so much for having me, John. It's so exciting oh, to be here. No, and pleasure's all ours. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, Charissa is a celebrity psychologist and international speaker. And what we're going to talk today about is this very interesting subject of the integrity code. So let's go, let's just dive straight into this, uh, Sharissa. So integrity is one of those things that I think, or it's one of those words that gets thrown about a lot. And I think most people will probably say, oh, yes, you know, I'm, I've got high integrity and that. But I, I don't think people really spend a lot of time thinking or understanding what it really means and how it actually manifests itself in everyday life. I am so pleased you asked that question, John, because that's how I got started. I was working with the EXCO team doing a team strengthening, and I said, gentlemen, we've got integrity on the wall as part of the values. What does it mean? I don't know. We're not sure. I said, but you're building a billion rand project. It was in construction. Mm -hmm. And you don't know what it means. How do you filter that down to the employees? And they asked me what it means, and I said, I don't know, doing the right thing. And that was the beginning of a five-year journey, John. I went to go and Google a course. There wasn't a course that I was satisfied with. I wrote a course, and that was the journey. And it's exactly as you said. It's a most misunderstood word, and everybody loves to throw it around in business, in work. But do they know how to apply it practically? That's another story. We mm -hmm. don't. And that's what my work looks at. Yeah. So, so when you, um, so uh, when you started and you started trying to figure out, um, okay, what are the what are the components that really go into making up real integrity and how it's executed? Um, what was what was one of the first things that maybe surprised you when you started doing your research? Yes, you know, I love that question, John. That it's hard work to practice it. It's about professionalism. It's about trust. It's about keeping your word. If you say something and say you're going to do something, do it. If you say you're going to email, email. The small little things, be on time, be punctual. And it's an ethical code to live by. But it takes work because every decision we make, we have to think, is it going to impact someone? And we have to self-reflect. So that's where the hard work comes in. Should I do this? Should I steal? Should I be late? Should I what? It's the self-reflection part of it. That's, that's hard work. But, but good question. <laughs> yeah, and th and that's and that's a really and it's interesting that you say that the self reflection part because self reflection, self awareness. I don't think you can achieve any of these things unless you go through this process of becoming self aware or, or self reflection. However, we live in this crazy society today where we're constantly bombarded with distractions, anything to stop us actually self reflecting. Yes. Exactly so. And social media. Oh, we're so busy on our social media. <laughs> it's become yeah. addictive. Yes, that we don't make time to self-reflect. But it's so important because every decision we make is going to impact on someone and on our lives. And if we make the wrong decision out of integrity, that's it. It's over. My favorite saying that I've coined, integrity costs nothing. But when you lose it, you lose everything. And people don't realize that. Even a small little lie. Um, all the way up to corruption, once you've lost that, there's no going back once that trust is broken. And if you have integrity, it is so so powerful, and, and, and in the, not in that word, use of that word, but people trust you, they want to follow you. And because integrity is so sought after, you will have followers, you will be recommended for the job interview, people will want to do business with you. So I don't understand why people don't get it, John. I really don't. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so but I think you touched. Uh, yeah, I think you touched on it just um, a few moments ago when you said it's about 
It's about doing the right thing. And I think sometimes people, uh, uh, to your point, I think sometimes people kind of categorize things, right? These are things that are important. Therefore, I should probably have integrity around these. Oh, these are silly little things down here. I don't need to worry about it. But it's always the combination. You mentioned the turning up on time. That's a, that's a, it happens to be a bit of a, uh, a, a bit of a thing with me. I can't stand people being late, and I can't stand, and I can't stand when people go, "Oh, well, you know me. I'm always late." Yes, but you know, there it comes. It's respect for for somebody else as well. It's respect for their time. Mm. But honestly, it just goes so much deeper because it's about doing the right thing and integrity, not only at work, not only in the business, in your relationships, in in your connections, every single day of your life. And, and that's why it's so important. And as we mentioned earlier with social media, you just need one person to give a bad review or say something bad about you or your organization or your company. And that's it. You can't come back from that. And what's interesting, John, is everybody has a sliding scale. I can think I'm the integrity queen. I should be a number nine or 10. And, you know, other people could think, well, Sharissa, she's three. But... <laughs> That, that is so important. And it's also important that integrity differs from culture to culture. And it's completely different from ethics. So it, it's so complicated. There's layer upon layer upon layer to unpack. And, and, and so, that's where misunderstandings come in, I think. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's a great point there. Can you explain the difference between integ- be integrity and, and ethics? So Because uh, I think that's a really, that's a really important one. Yes. Now, the ethics you can enforce, it will be in an organization, say it's a code of conduct, it's the way we conduct ourselves, and I love to give this example, people don't like it, but it's the best way to explain it, John. So when I had a private practice, one of my ethical codes as a psychologist is you can't have relationships with your client. Mm -hmm. But now let me say, maybe a sexy man comes in and maybe I think, you know, (laughs) maybe, you know. So I, I know that the ethics is I'm not supposed to. But if I don't have the integrity, I'm not going to uphold it. So that's why that part is so important. You can enforce up until a point. But then after that, the the integrity is internal and the ethics is external. So Mm. if we can think of it like that. Yeah, no, that's a great... No, no, totally, totally. Because um, what I think absolutely is, is that, as you said, it's easy to say here, you know, here's all the ethics and I'm very ethical, but if you don't actually act on it when the time comes, that's where the integrity, integrity comes in. And, and I think, uh, unfortunately, Sharissa, today, I think that if you have high levels of integrity, and I say unfortunately, you're going to stand out in a good way because unfortunately the rest of the world isn't displaying a whole heap of, and, and I don't think we're getting good role models or examples of high integrity. Yes, exactly, John. We're not getting it in leadership. We're not getting it in South Africa. We're not getting it universally. I'm looking here because I'm being distracted with the cat's paw coming through the door. So, you know, just just distracting myself. The nicest thing about integrity is you're able to speak your truth. You know, John, it is what it is. And there's a paw coming through there. (laughs) We we have lost a train of thought. Yeah, no, no, no. Let the the cat in. and Maybe the cat has something to contribute. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I locked them up, but they left a little gap and this ball's coming through. Um, we don't have role models and we're not teaching um, how to have integrity and do the right thing at school. So I've started a little campaign, do the right thing. If we did the right thing, there'd be less bullying at school. There'd be less murders. There'd be less rapes. There'd be less hurtful things to other people if we did the right thing. So I don't know, John, if I'm actually being stupid that I, I write about this or am I ahead of my time? But people aren't getting the importance of this and the importance of living your life by this because you will be sought after. And your word is so powerful. You know, recently I was, there was an example. Um, oh, I'm not even going to go into detail, but someone overheard and said, oh, that's Sharissa. Oh, if she said it, it's okay, you can believe her. Do you know how powerful that is to have that as a leader? Mm. Because those the ones we can't trust those are the ones this corridor talk. Do we believe her? Can we believe her? Oh, she talks nonsense. Don't. It causes such a toxic environment in the work. Never mind in the country, but, but we won't go there. <laughs> but you get, you know what I'm saying. But yeah. Is that making yeah. any sense? No, it, it is completely. And, and I really like what you said there about the fact is it's about doing the right thing. And I think, and I think, Sharissa, I think 
inherently people know when they're doing the right thing and know when they're not doing the right thing. I think your body, I mean, even physiologically, I think your body will tell you. And, mm. and especially if you're trying, if you do something um, that you know actually isn't right, you, I think you go through a short process of kind of justifying in your head why it's actually okay. Mm. And I think those are great, those are great signals that perhaps, uh, you know, you're having an integrity problem. But I do believe that inherently people do know when they're doing the right thing as opposed to mm. not. I, I love that, John. You know, I've got a radio show on relationships and we were talking about cheating and how difficult it is to live with your lies. People do know inherent and in, inherently. But but how, you know, when your mind says something, your body's saying something and you're lying, and isn't it going to keep you up at night? Because if it comes back to bite you, that's it. The shame it's going to bring, and I'm not only talking about cheating, I'm talking about anything that you haven't mm -hmm. acted in integrity, the shame it's going to bring you and your family and your organization and the people. How do, how do you live with that? And it's so nice when the two are connected that, that you know nothing's going to come back to hurt me, to bite me. I'm okay with myself. And that's a lovely feeling to say, I did do the right thing as best I can every single day. And it's okay. It's mm -hmm. not going to come back to me. It's a nice feeling. Yeah. I can sleep at night. Fine. Besides the crime <laughs> and the cats. <laughs> <laughs> and the cats. Um, but here, but it, uh, again, like interesting point just to pick up on there. Um, what you said is, is yeah, um, doing the right thing feels good. It may not always be easy at the time um, to do the right thing and to act with integrity. However, uh, to your other point, I think if you act without integrity, it, it, it's exhausting because you have to cover your lies, all of this kind of thing. I mean, it always just seems to me that if you operate in that way, it must be absolutely exhausting, like you said, because you have to keep your lies lives in 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 order you have to remember all of that kind of stuff whereas you know the truth the truth is the truth is the truth yes and decisions exactly i love what you're saying that's absolutely brilliant and it's also something you know i love the example there was one day i can't add and i bought something it was supposed to be more expensive than it was i'm like oh, you know me sure so you can't add i walked out and somehow it got through the trolley underneath and i hadn't paid for it and I walked and I thought, thank you, heavens. Here is a gift from above, Sharissa. It's mm -hmm. worth a couple of hundred rand. Just keep walking. But I had to look over my shoulder. Is security following me? What's mm -hmm. happening? So, so the one side of me said, it's a gift. Take it. You deserve it. You always support this place. And the other side said, turn around and give it back. And I'm having this whole conversation, John, as I'm walking down the passage. Go back. No, keep it. Go back. No, they may arrest mm -hmm. you if you go through. They may think you've stolen it. Long in the short story, I went back. And being such an actress that I am, I said, look what I've how did this get through? How's your security? Anyway, the eyes popped. I said, I've come back to pay. <laughs> but mm -hmm. the nice feeling, once I did it and I walked back, I'm like, I'm a nice person. I did the right thing. <laughs> it's small little things. It does boost your ego, as you said. You do feel good about yourself. If you're a normal person, then have personality disorders, let's say. <laughs> um, <but> yes. <laughs> and we should but, be teaching the children this, John. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. But I, I like what you said there, because I think sometimes when people hear something like, you know, acting with integrity, I need to start acting with integrity. It sounds it sounds like a big thing. Uh, yes. I mean, as in, you yes. know, it's complicated or whatever. But what you just said there, it's not it's just a bunch of simple things. I guess part of it is is just being aware and intentional in what you're doing. Yes, I love what you said. Being intentional. Exactly. At Everything that you do is with intention and that there's no harm done to others as best as you can. No harm done to animals, no harm done to people, um, being kind, being nice. It's exhausting. It's exhausting, but mm -hmm. it also means that you've got boundaries up. You know, you're not going to, people are not going to walk all over you, but um, it does sound overwhelming and we want to break it down. And it's about self-reflection, self-leadership, self-integrity. And if you promise yourself, I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to stop eating my chips. Do it because your, if your word's not good for yourself, John, it, you can't have a good word for others. But all I can say is the best gift that you can give to somebody is your word. And they come to believe it as being true. That to me is the most incredible thing ever in business, in work, in relationships. 
Yeah, you know, I just I love what you just said there about um, you know I, I I just think that's so 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 um, powerful about your word to yourself because I agree with you. I think you know a lot of us would say, oh, you know, my word is my bond, but we break our word to ourselves constantly, yeah. and uh, and so you can't. So I I love that that everything starts with yourself, right? Yes. And I had to learn that because my word stood for everyone. If I say I'm going to do something, I'll do it. And life happens. If I don't, I'm accountable. I'll say, listen, I'm sorry. The life happens. The cat's got sick. The what, what? <laughs> but it, it's being transparent and it's being accountable. So, but if I say I'm going to start gym and trust me, it's in the next building here. You're yeah. right. <laughs> That's no good. Yeah. So it starts with ourselves. Mm -hmm. And let's not forget yeah. that. Yeah, no, absolutely. And I think the other thing is, is over time, uh, I think integrity probably builds upon itself, you know, that you start to look at the world differently, you start to look at yourself differently, you start to look at how you, how you interact with the world a little bit differently. Yes, you do. How, how did you know that? <laughs> you do. <laughs> it, takes, it takes things to a whole nother level. But on the downside of that, if someone lets me down, a friend, a person, or what, what, that's it. I'm, I, I'm hectic. That's over. <laughs> so the <laughs> expectations is high. And well, it is for me. Because now I think everybody's got integrity and everyone's going to do the right thing. So, and they don't. So, no, um, no. But I'm not saying from ego point of view. I'm just saying this is my passion, John. It's my passion, the mm -hmm. integrity in the work, integrity in business, integrity in building your brand. It's my, my absolute passion to start, yeah, a whole international movement. So it's not coming from, oh, I've got integrity and I want others, to, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Yeah. It comes like a passion. I wish people understood the power that you have in business when your word is good. I think, I think that's the bottom line. <laughs> Yeah, no, 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 ab ab absolutely. And, uh, and, you know, I do think that it's, it, it's, it's, it's really needed right now. I mean, as we said earlier, because there's so many different influences that play with people, yeah, especially our children and everything is like, we need to, we need to really reinforce this because we have seen so many people who are rewarded for, shall we say, questionable behavior yes. or, or seemingly rewarded for, um, for questionable behavior. So it, this, this is really critical now that we start to teach people um the diff you know the, the how to have how to have integrity and how to be able to stand uh, stand alone at times because you just mentioned there about people it's it's like as we get older we realize i mean i certainly like shrink the universe of people uh because i only yes. want people in my universe who are who i am adding to theirs they're adding to mine and it's a it's a it's a mutual relationship i, I don't need any of these other ones anymore i don't need a huge amount of people just to kind of stoke my ego or feel good yes exactly and, and i'm glad you mentioned that because the older i'm getting the more choosy i am who i spend my time with mm -hmm. and and yes I'm, I'm very very selective that scraping noise is the cat coming through okay. um, it's okay. John, I, I wish other I wish organizations would just think about doing some integrity training as a preventative measure. I've also got a pledge on my website where people can take a pledge. Organizations can take a pledge. It's very simple. Adolescents can take a pledge that you're just trying to do better. Um, mm. and, and that's, that's, that's important. I have integrity ambassadors, John, that, that especially with the youth and my students, that if they do something good in the community, we actually praise them. We actually make them an integrity ambassador. So um, yeah, I, I I I love I love that, and I'm also and you're you're totally right. I don't think anybody does integrity training. I've never heard of integrity training. Quite honestly, I've never, to be honest, um, you know, I've 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 worked in many places and visited many others. I I haven't. I don't think I've ever heard integrity really discussed. To be perfectly honest, so I I think you're right. I think the time has come to to really focus in more on on something that's this so uh fundamental to everything that comes after yes and exactly we they haven't heard of it so i've got an online course and that give talks and face to face where we can but here we go we don't do that as a preventative and and people exactly as you've said have never heard of it sure so what integrity training oh you're crazy <laughs> but no <laughs> the people they do it but we can spend hundreds and thousands of rebuilding trust once there's been a a collapse in the corporate world once it's been corruption hundreds and thousands mm -hmm. of rands to rebuild it but nothing's ever going to do that once once 
yeah, once this had elapsed. Does that make sense? Yeah. No, it yeah. does. It does. And, and to be honest, um, I was kind of compared, a li- I, I can compare it a little bit to, you know, like harassment training. I mean, I've worked in organizations <laughs> when suddenly out of the blue, we're all put through harassment training and you go, okay, something must have happened. And it's, and it's usually the result of something happening and they're trying to cover themselves. So it's like bolting the, yeah. you know, the stable door after the horse has left. Yeah. And I think the same thing you're probably going to find with integrity, you're going to probably find people coming to you because something happened rather than doing it, as you said, as a preventative. Yes, yes absolutely, exactly so. And that's too little, too late. The damage is already done. And again, we come back to the harassment which and, and the bullying in, in mm. that's happening in organizations as well. People did the right thing. It wouldn't happen. So, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a facet. It's no, it's a fascinating topic, and it's a, and it's great work that you're doing, Sharissa. I mean, this is uh, because, like I said, I think this term is thrown around. I don't think people really understand it, and I don't think people are paying enough attention to it um, right now. And I think, given the world that we're in today. I think it's a winning, to be honest, even on a selfish level, I think it's a winning, a winning strategy in the long run because I think people are craving. Uh, authenticity to be able to trust people to be able to trust yes. people's word yes you're so easy to talk to i love it authenticity <laughs> transparency it's real yeah be real there's too much fake out there <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. Yes. and uh, yeah and and be your true self you know that's it i mean i always uh, mm-hmm. i always quote my compatriot uh, mr oscar Wilde when he said like be yourself because everyone else is taken um i think mm-hmm. be real true to who you really are and who you really are you know inherently should have high integrity and and if it doesn't then maybe you need to take a good hard look at your life yes but it's so freeing to be who you are it's wonderful how can you be anything else it's just to (laughs) to live your life the way you want is is, yes absolutely fantastic well listen um all of sharissa's information is going to be below this video uh but before we go please do tell people a little bit more about yourself and what you do Oh, let me do that quickly. <laughs> um, okay, so so currently I'm on um, international platforms to actually do booking for integrity. I'm one of the few people who do it, waiting to be booked. Uh, no, but we, we're doing some exciting work. In fact, in America in February and in Japan, there are organizations who are getting it. So I give talks on integrity, as, as we know, but I mean to say as well, mental health, mind power, mm-hmm. Um, team strengthening, emotional intelligence, um, all of that, relationships. So yeah, no, I think that's that's, that's no, that's absolutely fantastic, and I like I like all the um, kind of adjacent areas that you're covering there yeah. because yeah, and and certainly mental health. We could talk a we could talk a lot about that too, that's but uh, yeah. <laughs> we we'll leave it at integrity thing. for today. It's a whole other subject. Maybe you'll come back yeah. and we'll talk about that in a future okay. future session. Well, listen, thanks again, Sharissa. Thank you all for watching and listening, and I will see you all again soon. Thank you so much, John. It's such a pleasure to be with you. Thank you.